laps to go. Harvick knows the way to victory lane. We're trying to get there, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin. Reed Sorensen still there with Matt Kenseth and Carl Edwards in the top 10. Yeah, Reed didn't get a great restart. He kind of fell back through the field there, but man, that old 36 car, it comes up through the middle pretty good. Look at Brad Keselowski in that two car, just pushing Jeff Gordon in that 24. And still in that lead pack, we talked to him at the top of the day, talked about it. Terry Labonte in his 32nd and final Daytona 500. He's still within 1.2 seconds of the lead. Hey, if it's your last race, make it a good one, buddy. Texas Terry. Jeff Gordon jumped to the outside. The 24 car trying to take his second spot away from Keselowski. Seven laps to go. Looking back from Dale Earnhardt Jr. And Brad Keselowski. One, two. Boy, you make the wrong move. Jeff Gordon make somewhat of a bad move there, and it's going to cost him. And I keep seeing Kyle Busch in that 18 car talking about drivers that want to win the Daytona 500. It wasn't that many laps to go. He was a lap down. Here he is. And look at those cars move around. We're running over 200 miles an hour, and these guys are using every bit of the skill they have. Well, they did that earlier in the week, and they were just lucky to piece everything together to make this day from 500. And now they've got a couple more cars. What a bad run to run today. Six laps to go. Terry Labonte's dreams of winning the Daytona 500. It, it's no coincidence. It's no coincidence, Mike, Larry, that you get down the end of the race, we have these kind of things happen. It, I mean, like I said, you just can't give anymore. Well, it looks like the three car of the Austin Dillon got into the back of the 31, gave him a shove, and it got him loose. I think Ryan Newman in the 31, Darrell, was checking up for something in front of him. Plus, it, just as he was about to turn off in the corner as well. We have a little fun. Here's another one. Watch the catch of you. Newman, 31. And that little bump that just gets turned. Just in that vulnerable spot. Going into that corner. It's hard to little free right there. Casey Beard, that 13, somehow got through there. He's done that all night. Yeah. This happened back about 14th place. We're running over 200 miles an hour, and these guys are using every bit of the skill they have. They're trying to, oh, oh got another car Up goes around. Ryan Newman. Oh, it's like the three car. The Austin Dillon got into the back of the 31, gave him a shove, and he got him loose. I think Brian Newman in the 31, Darrell, was checking up for something in front of him. Plus, it, just as he was about to turn off in the corner as well. Got a little fun. Here's another look. Watch the cap Chevy of Newman, 31. And it just, at that little bump, and it just it turned him. Just in that vulnerable spot, going into that corner, it's hard to look free right there. This happened back about 14th place. Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to win the Daytona 500 yet again. Brad Keselowski for Roger Penske trying to give the captain his second victory. And remember, it was Dale Jr who gave Keselowski his big break to drive Junior's car in the Nationwide Series. Now, right behind them, Jeff Gordon, the 24, Kyle Busch in the 18, coming from one lap down, Carl Edwards and Denny Hamlin, Jimmy Johnson and Ricky Stenhouse, Matt Kenseth and Kevin Harvick are the top 10. And the wins this year count more than ever. You win it, you might be in the chase. It might be the win you need, and it's a chance to get one right here. Definitely doesn't want to get too far out. We know that's not good. And he is making a pretty good gap here. Here, watch the two. Brad Keselowski on the outside. 
Got a little bit of help from behind. Gaining on the leader. Junior comes up to cover. Jeff Gordon now leading the inside row. Unless Keselowski or Bush or Denny Hamlin in the 11 drops down. It's Hamlin. What a move by Hamlin. Woohoo! Now if we get back to the white flag, we have a race. Look at Stenhouse in that 17 in the middle, back and forth. And Boy, back he and just forth. shoved Kyle Busch right out of the way. Ricky Stenhouse in the 17 to third place. White flag with Stenhouse up in position to challenge in that blue four. You know what, Larry? I believe that tape's going to stay on there, and that baby's going to come home a winner. Denny Hamlin has not lost a race this week. He's number 11. Keslowski, the 2012 champ, battling back to the top. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., the Pied Piper of Daytona, trying to hold them all at bay. And Kyle Busch is trying to make the third line at the top of the race track. Boy, here they come. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We've seen a lot of passes on turn four than the start finish line, but that 88 is pulling away. Less than a mile to go. Third generation star, Dale Earnhardt Jr., brings him to the flag. Shepard flag waving. It's over. It's Good job, Jim Bud! Woo!